Kikiboo. <laughs> Thank you to Mantis Sleep for sponsoring today's video. My favorite. <laughs> More about them <laughs> later in the video. Good morning, everyone. Oh, <laughs> I thought I'd show you what my morning routine is like when it's my day to get up with the boys. Today was exceptionally early. I've been up since 5.20. It is 6 a.m. The boys are just getting to the point where I need to get them out of their cribs because before this they were just chatting happily. So let's go get them. First thing I did when I came down, turn my kettle on, grind some beans, and start my coffee. And then I also fed Smalley and Ferguson. And some bottles. And Monkey has changed. I love these outfits. I think we've probably shown you them before. They're from Target. You're so cute. And this guy's having his bottle still. Oh, are you waving? <laughs> are you waving? He likes to take his arm out of his sleep sack. It's like his thing. As soon as you put it on, one arm out. You like the one shoulder look. Yeah. So I'm gonna have my coffee while these two play. Once you're dressed and changed. Close to the door to our bedroom upstairs so that Elsie and Rosie would stay up there. <laughs> because sometimes when they come down in the morning, they don't need to go outside this early, by the way. I would obviously let them come if they wanted to or needed to. Come in and out, in and out, in and out, and then they're outside they bark. And then it's like <coughs> rainy, so I'd have to wipe their feet. And I was like, you know what? It's too early for this, so. They're still sleeping. Yeah, you can't touch Ferguson, buddy. Not Ferguson. It's really hard to keep one of them away from Ferguson. But Ferguson goes up to them and is like, pet me, pet me. Basically a referee show around here. We're playing, keeping everyone apart and chasing. I guess that's not why for It's too early. I don't know what I'm saying. It's too early. I'm going to put on these eye patches. <laughs> it's the only ones I have left, but they are nighttime ones and I'm going to use them in the morning. I don't think it really matters, but we're doing family photos tonight and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna look so tired. So, these it is. Hi. I'm putting on my eye patches. Let me leave Ferguson. You guys can't touch Ferguson, okay? So I have a brief moment right now when <laughs> they're playing <laughs> to have a few sips of my coffee. Oh my gosh. I use this as my coffee shelf. And it is full of coffee to the back of our <laughs> That's a really nice rattle drumming. Good work. Good work. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm going to take them for a walk once it's light out. It is still really dark. Peekaboo! 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 <laughs> okay, this is one of my favorite mug shapes and sizes. And I actually got this at the Dollarama. It's pretty ugly, but um, it's one of my favorite Halloween mugs. So I'm using it today. I haven't used it all season yet. Also, I'm getting my hair done today. I haven't had my hair done since March. And in March, I got my extensions out. I always had like hand tied extensions for length. So I got them out and I got it cut and it actually has grown so much since then, but the ends are pretty sparse. Um, so I'm just getting my extensions tied back in today. So I don't think it'll be like a huge transformation. Obviously it'll be like more full and less limp, but I'm excited. I love our hair stylist she's amazing she'll probably do the boys hair she will do the boys hair when they need haircuts a woman needs a haircut please don't hit your brother with that okay just heat up some oatmeal for the boys and we're gonna eat this is oatmeal flax chia yeah i think that's all that's in it
All right, and since it is light enough out, we are now going for a walk. So let's go. <laughs> Back from our walk, I got dressed. The wife is up. I'm up. I just got one baby to sleep. One baby sleeping. The other. Yeah, so I'm going to my hair. This is the before shot. Hi, Smiley. This is the before shot. It's actually so long, but very uneven. This side's so much longer. It's so weird. I am still looking like this. It is 12.04. I had big plans for nap time. Get ready for the day. Get some work done. Maybe read a little book, you know? Some yeah. exciting things for me too. The twins did not sleep. I had the worst two hours of mothering I've ever had. Good thing you're cute. Through no one's fault. It's like, I, it was probably my fault, most of all. So what happened was I put one twin down for his nap. He fell asleep before his brother. His brother is saying, I do not want to nap. So I rocked one twin to sleep. Then the other twin was like, no, this is not for me. Get me out of here. And then I tried for 40 minutes to get that twin to sleep. We tried everything. We tried resetting, like let's go up and play for a bit, come back for a nap, we tried bottle soother, rocking, rocking in my room in the dark, rocking in their room in the dark. Like I tried everything, everything in my arsenal. He said, no, this is not happening. So much so that he woke his brother. And then he screamed for an hour and a half his brother that he woke because he was so tired but could not fall back asleep. And then they decided that they both needed me to rock them. And I don't know if you knew this, but it's illegal to hold both of my twins at the same time. People ask about their twin bond and how like nice and magical it is. They don't like each other. They do not want to be anywhere near each other. I am not allowed to rock them at the same time, but they both needed to be rocked. And we're screaming like banshees. But like screaming if I was rocking them because there was another baby screaming if I wasn't rocking them It was horrible. I felt so bad because I was bugging Allie being like I just don't know what to do This is the worst thing that's ever happened Like the twins have had some hard times before but nothing that typically I can't handle like nothing was working I'm so worked up. Honestly, I cried many times because I was like so overwhelmed and I was like, I feel like such a bad mom. So I just cannot get these kids to sleep and it was so horrible. So now he's not sleeping, but at least he's not screaming. Hey, don't you give me that cheesy happy smile. Cheese. Cheese. I love you. Hi, Shelly. Hi. <laughs> okay, yeah. so my hair is almost done. How many wefts did we end up doing? We've got seven wefts. Seven wefts. And two rows of hair. <gasps> I can't wait to show you the whole thing. Nice. So it thick. feels so thick. And also, the color match is so good. So we used, how do you say it? Locally. Locally extensions. And do we know the length? Uh, there were some 22s and then there was some 18s in there. Okay. I'm loving it so far. A little I'm very bit of everything. So I'll show you the finished product soon. I'm back from my hair appointment. I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. I love my extensions. I forgot how much I love having them in. Unfortunately, it was really bad for Sam here. I so many times was like, Shelly, I think I need to leave. I think I need to go home. I'm just waiting for Sam to say the word. I felt so bad. Both boys were not napping and it was just like, whew. but I definitely felt really wrong being at my hair appointment. And I was like, I need to go. Luckily, Shelly's a mom. She definitely understood and was like, we can quickly finish up this row of extensions and then you can go. So I was like on deck to go <laughs> if I needed to. But basically that's just ties right back into their sleep issues. So we actually booked a consult with a sleep person, I don't know, consultant for tomorrow, just to have a chat and see if maybe they have some advice because I, 
it's just not sustainable with them waking up so much and then getting up early and then not napping and then miserable and it's obviously not feasible for two parents to be on hand all the time because one of us has to work i mean today i was at a hair appointment and i felt immensely guilty <laughs> but uh usually it is because one of us is working so the quality of sleep that we're getting in the night is poor however the small chunks that we are getting are very important we like have a little white noise machine in here oh my gosh wait I just remembered. Okay, we got the best. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. So I wear my sleep mask every night. This is from Manta Sleep. I have been wearing this for like two years, I think. It literally saved me postpartum, saved me in the hospital. You know, I've shared it many times. This one's looking a little rough because it's old, but it's still in great shape. Still works really, really good. This is like their just Manta Sleep Mask, I think it's called, like the regular one. I sleep with white noise and I sleep with a mask. Obviously, I sleep with the white noise on very, very low right now because we have children and I have to hear them. This is the Mantis sleep mask with sound. So it has Bluetooth built in to the sides. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to try this. Like, I'm so, you know, sleep is so important to me. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Also, if I ever travel again without infants, amazing for the plane. But what I love about their sleep masks is the eye cups because there's no pressure on your eyes. Also, I don't like things touching my eyelashes and when I get eyelash extensions, obviously I don't want to ruin them. So I like nothing touching my eyelashes, but I need to wear my sleep mask. So that's what I love. I also love that it's completely blackout. Literally napping after postpartum when the boys were born, I could nap any time of day because it was pitch black with these. Also though, we got from Manta Sleep, blackout stickers you know in your room when you're annoyed like oh the little light on the outlet is on or like the little light on the thing no more you know sleep is crucial to me and lastly one more mask to show you because i love masks hold on okay you know i have mentioned that i want to take better care of my skin like my eye skin because i've been getting more wrinkles as i age i'm also exhausted the manta silk sleep mask oh, this is heaven for me getting <laughs> getting more sleep masks because i've had my one mask for like two years i mean it's still in good shape but this sleep mask is super gentle and delicate around the eyes so the silk one i don't know which one i should try first tonight i probably will wait until like i'm not on baby duty and crank the white noise in this one man to sleep i would highly recommend trying these out like uh, this has been my obsession for years i know i've mentioned it so many times before and i will keep mentioning it because i am obsessed <laughs> Did you guys know that Ali hates when I wear my hair in this particular button? It's where I pile my hair on the top of my head like this. It's a pet peeve of hers, is this, this button. This is where I was going to show you all of my favorite bath things and everything that I have to make this a nice cozy bath, but I'm a mess. I'm a mess right now. So one, our bathroom is so gross. I feel like it needs work. There's dents in the tub. I didn't do this bath. Well, we did like the nice prettiness of the bathroom, but I obviously didn't install this bathroom because this is a very old house that we own. But, oh well, it's it's fine. I just feel like when I'm filming in here, I'm always like, oh, it looks grimy. One of the arguably most important things for my bath is water. I just got this Stanley. It was a gift from a brand. And I would never go out of my way to buy a Stanley. I know they're very like trendy and cool, but I actually love it. Like it keeps my drinks cold. And the thing that I really like is I love a straw. Like I really, really love a straw. And I like that it like, it's like pretty stuck in there. And like I've knocked it over a few times. Look at that even. I mean, obviously, if I knocked it all the way over, it'd come out straw. I don't know what I'm going to do because I told you my life's a mess. I have a lighter. It's electric. I showed you before and made this horrible noise. I won't do that to you again. But I was going to light all these candles and then it's dead. My e-reader is dead. So I don't know what I'm going to read. Maybe this Lisa Jewell's um, new book. It's None of This is True. I love a good thriller. Maybe that'll be my time. But I also have Kindle Unlimited right now. And it like came with my Kindle for so many months for free. It is great. I love it. I'm saving a lot of money on books and like not having to get them out of the library because it's immediate. And there's a lot of really good books on there. But I noticed a trend and it is hockey romances. And I felt like that would be a really fun genre to just like, they're really short, like two, three hundred dollars, two, three hundred dollars, 
books, imagine, two, three hundred page books, and they're really short and sweet, and I bet I could read them really quick, and I just want to see what they're like. I downloaded like three to my Kindle, and I thought maybe I'd do like a video or a TikTok or something on them, just because it's such an odd genre to me that that's like a thing. They don't have the really popular one, Icebreakers, this one there, but they do have lots of other ones, so I'm going to give them a shot and like see what's up. So I might read that, so I hope that this isn't a weird light the whole time I've been here vlogging, but okay, bath essentials. Lush. <laughs> a book, water, and I might have some wine tonight. I just brought in the whole bottle. <laughs> I'm not going to drink the whole bottle, but I brought it in. Because after the day I had, I need it. I... Well, I don't. I'd be fine without wine. I haven't been drinking much lately just because I'm having a lot of anxiety about health and so I haven't been. But maybe tonight I'll treat myself to a glass of wine and like just like relax in the bath. Okay, I'm wasting my time that I should be bathing and talking to you. you gotta go. For something exciting to come out of that bath bomb. I think it's called Jason's Mummy. I thought with the white it would have like red or something inside of it and I don't think it does. I think it's just a white which is fine. I love just a nice simple bath bomb but I don't know my mood tonight I wanted something like really fun and spooky. It's fine. Um, I did end up going for a very Canadian. I'm like one page, two pages in and it's already so Canadian. We'll see how this goes. I might end up just like not even reading. <laughs> okay, bath update part two. My water is now perfectly clear, maybe five minutes after putting that bath bomb in, and I don't find much of a scent. I know it's citrus, but like I don't really smell much, probably because I have candles burning and they're more like overpowering, but it doesn't like feel nice on the skin. That was like one of the most underwhelming bath bombs I've had in a very long time, but this bath is such a miss for me. Honestly, I'm even considering putting in another bath bomb. Do you hear that? These kids will not nap. Their sleep has been so horrible. Wait, we match. Don't I like match matching me so you. much. She matches me every day. Not every day. I'm in my running gear. I think that I was actually dressed before you put on your running gear. <laughs> so maybe oh. you're copying me. So like we said, the twin sleep has been absolutely horrible and it has actually like spiraled to be even it worse. Got worse. It I don't know how worse. that's possible, but it did. I'm about to get on a plane to... Uh, go somewhere hot. If you're going somewhere, go somewhere hot. Yes. I'm going to bring Elsie, though. So we <sighs> decided to hire a sleep consultant mm -hmm. to try to help with the twins' sleep. We've never we, done that before. We had classes. So I bought two classes. The newborn one was very helpful. Taking care of babies, I think. I know that I know it's bad. I know I've heard bad things about the person, not the so much the Trump. Sleep. I don't, I don't know. Don't take mine as facts, but I know there's something not great there's about a bit this of controversy party. about so it. So I'm not sure. I acknowledge that, but I had already purchased it. It is what it is. I'm not promoting it. The newborn course was helpful. <laughs> the five to twenty-four months, honestly, maybe would have been helpful, but I don't think anyone has the time to watch that. Yeah, we don't that have the hours and hours to sit down and watch the course. I did not find that method helpful. of a class good for me mm -hmm. i don't have the time so we decided to hire a sleep consultant and yes. it was good because it was all like personal yes. tr tailored and advice it was only half us. an hour so it's like very manageable plus we could message her or email any time and, and she's like questions. a real human that knows a, just like the we person. sent ahead of time like a questionnaire filled out yeah. of all about the twins sleep habits and stuff yeah so she was really good and i will say the it, twins had been down to just one nap before we talked to her. We, she was weeks. like, they need two naps. They need to have two naps. Her tips worked. So they're yesterday twice. they had two naps. And today they're, have, they're on their second nap right now. But then they got sick. How? That's where it we were all went horrible. Three weeks ago. Or four. Yeah. Right before my birthday. You guys saw the coughing and the sickness. They, they've seen it. Yeah, it's worse this time. But we aren't sick. No. So, I don't know where they even caught it, honestly. We, I have we no were nowhere. Clue. We didn't do anything that they could have gotten sick at, in my opinion. No. It's shocking. I'm like, like they how have did seen, you get this? They saw nobody. Except A one newborn friend baby. With her newborn, and they are not. So they're sick. We aren't sick yet. But even one baby was coughing in my face all night because he was sleeping with me. So. Two nights in a row. 
was really bad. Like, but it's because up they're like sick. midnight. Yes. So we have to give them like some grace. That's so what's it's going not on. the sleep situation. It's the sickness. I think the sleep will improve as soon as they're better. I think so too. I have spent the last two nights rocking for hours. And every single time I go to lay one twin down, he screams. He will also, he doesn't want me to rock him. He goes, no. So you kind of have to be on duty of him. And then I can be on duty of the other one. Yeah. But he was fine last night. Fred was up from yeah. 9.30 p.m. until 12.10 a.m. And poor Rosie. <sighs> okay, so Rosie's bed trained. We didn't create trainer. We put her in the bed when she came home the first night. That's where she slept every day. And every she sleeps night since, there every Every night single night since we got her. With us. So almost a year and a half. So poor Rosie was obviously, you can't put a baby in the bed and Rosie. Maybe a normal dog, but not Rosie. So obviously Rosie had to be down in this main level with the baby gate. And she cried all night. She cried all night. Poor Rosie. Poor Rosie. She's like, like, I just want my mom's. It was, it was sad. It was so sad. Poor Rosie. Home. That's the noise she was making. Home. It was home. It was really sad because she was like, why did you, like, she doesn't understand. Yeah, she's like, why can't I sleep with you tonight? And. Sayonara. This is where we're going to leave you you guys. What is Sayonara? Sayonara is how you say bye in Spanish, isn't it? Oh, Sayonara. Yeah, obviously. I should know that. Didn't you take Spanish? I didn't get a good grade. Can you tell me (laughs) all you know how to say? I know what two sentences she knows. (laughs) I won't see. Tell them. Tell them. I Necesito a... ir al baño. Do not come at me if I don't say this right because I learned this on a little thing when I was like a teenager. Okay, what was Necesito that? Necesito ir al baño. Is that where's the bathroom? I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. What else? Quiero ir al cine. I want to go to the cinema. <laughs> That's what you know how to say. And you know one more. Cerveza. Un cerveza, por, por favor. favor. One beer, please. <laughs> she doesn't even drink beer. I don't know why. I, if I did, though. Yeah, you know how to ask for one. You can what else? I did day. take Spanish. Yeah, in I university. Failed. No, I got a C. That was my worst mark in all of university. Really? I got all A's except philosophy. I got a B. Oh, they're up. They're up. <laughs> and then in Spanish, I got a C. Peace. Okay, well, I failed calculus, so it's a little about me. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>